Lickety clackety, and let's add basic key inputs to Unity. Alright, we found us back in Unity once more, and in this tutorial, we're gonna be taking a look at some basic inputs. For this, we have the planet scene over here back, but in theory, you can do this in any scene that you want, because we only need to attach a script to any type of game object. So in our scripts folder, we're going to right-click, new C-sharp script, and this is going to be the basic input. As always, of course, all of the code is going to be available to you, as well as the Unity package. Let's just add a script right here, let's open it, and let's see what we can do. Of course, all of our inputs are going to happen in the update method, as this is the method that is called every frame, right? So obviously, it has to happen there. Basically, we have to add an if statement, so there's going to be if input dot get key down. You can see it already suggests this to us. Let's just get key down over here, and there's going to be key code dot y actually which we're going to use there you go and then when you press that i just want to debug dot log so basically we're just going to output something into the console we're going to output pressed y that's all we're doing right here and nothing more and we're going to do this a couple of times so just going to select this press ctrl d twice to duplicate this and we're going to do this with the x and the z as well but here instead of doing get key down we're just going to use get key and this is going to be pressing x there you go and then here in the z instead of key down we're going to say key up this is going to be outputting stopped pressing z so there you go and we can basically now see the difference here between key down the normal get key and get key up so let's take a look at this in unity once more make sure to have the input script added to any one of your game objects i just added it to the planet that's gonna be fine if for example i were to press x you can see pressing x and if i hold x down you can see it keeps being pressed so basically every tick it registers that the x is still being pressed if i were to hold down z you can see that well nothing is happening because well i'm, I'm not releasing it because there you go stop pressing z and then for example y you can see i press it i'm still holding it down but it doesn't matter because it's only registered once so the general idea is as follows. This is called once when the key is pressed down. This continues to be true while the key is being pressed. And key up is called once when the key is stopped being pressed. This can be extremely useful and the difference here is quite important. One important thing to note with the key codes right here, this might only affect like the tiniest percentage of people However, I have found that the key code Y over here and key code Z might be swapped if you're using a non-QWERTY keyboard. However, your operating system is English, then it might actually try to use Y as Z and Z as Y because they might be switched. I have the German keyboard layout, so there the Y and the Z are switched. So do keep that in mind that that might be an issue. There's another type of input and that is going to be the get button down. And of course, here we're going to choose in this case the cancel button. We're going to once again debug.log and this is going to be the cancel button was pressed and there we go. So of course this has the similar things as the get key right so this has get button down get button and get button up so that is all the same thing. In this case though we're passing in a string instead of an enum right here. Now what could this be? Well let's once again switch back to unity and let's take a look and if I press escape right now you can see the cancel button was pressed so cancel is escape. How do we know that that is the case and what are the defined buttons? Well, if you go to edit and go to project settings under the input manager, there are what's called axes that are defined right here. And you can see there's the cancel button, right? So this is escape or joystick one. There's also the submit button, which is either enter or return. And there's also the jump button, which is joystick three, the horizontal we've seen before. And you can see there's quite a few of them. Now, in this case, this is pretty much all that there is to it. And the buttons are really not that useful anymore overall uh, because they have been replaced with a new input system in this case we'll we're not going to take a look at that as it is a little more complicated and for basically most testing purposes in the beginning these inputs should suffice but there is one more thing that is quite interesting and that is going to be input dot any key and we can see that this is basically going to be the same idea as get key just with any key so you can see is any key or the mouse button currently held down and if this is the case then this is true and in here we're basically going to get a few more log outputs so the first one is going to be any key is being pressed and then what we can do is we can say this was the last pressed key and then we can add the following we can add input dot input string it's going to get you basically the last key as you can see returns the keyboard input entered this frame very interesting and then let's just log for the sake of argument input dot get axis and we can get both horizontal as well as vertical there you go and let's just take a look 
So that is going to be everything we need. Let's go back to Unity once again. Let's take a look. So the thing about it is that if I were to just click right here, you can see now all of those things are going to happen and they're going to happen quite a few times because, well, they happen every frame, right? So if I were to press, for example, J, you can see right here, any keys pressed and the last one that was pressed is J. This only happens once while all of the others are basically, well, then it is, it stops being that because, well, I stopped pressing it down. And also when you once again, take a look at the input string, it actually returns what, what the keyboard input is this frame, so it uses it up, so to speak. So that is the idea. If I were to press A, for example, you can see all of a sudden we get different numbers because, of course, A is one of the horizontal ones. W would be one of the vertical outputs. And that is the general idea of some basic inputs. With that, you can already build quite a few things. Most of the time, you're probably going to use the input axis here to make it a little bit easier. This should natively already immediately work with a gamepad in theory and then for anything else basically you have the key codes that are going to suffice if the demand is high enough i might also go into the quote-unquote new input system which as i've said is a little more complicated there's way more setting up that you have to do but it would be cross compatible with many different systems so it would be compatible with basically a playstation controller or an xbox controller and all sorts of other things now that we've given the keyboard some love let's also talk about mouse input in this video right here hope to see you there so yeah.